Acknowledging the time when the countdown goes on the terminal sequencer. The sequencer commands a variety of functions, all which must occur in the proper sequence for the count to continue. Also here in the control center, the uh, people will continue to monitor what are called the red line values to ensure that everything is go for launch. The instrument unit light, panel light now on the status board indicates instrument unit ready, spacecraft ready, emergency detection system ready. We've passed the uh, two minute, 50 second mark and we're now on the terminal sequencer. The terminal sequencer has started. This terminal sequencer will pressurize the fuel tank. These fuel tanks are pressurized to ensure that as the fuels deplete, they're forced down for, to assure an even flow into the engine. Fuel tanks are now being pressurized. The S4B, or third stage liquid oxygen tank, has just been pressurized. And the second stage liquid oxygen tank has been pressurized. As we move down through the count at the T-minus 17 second mark, we'll get a release of the guidance system in the instrument unit. Also handled by the automatic sequencer will be the release of swing arms number one and number two. The ignition of the Saturn V five engines, the first stage five engines, will take place at 8.9 seconds in the countdown, 8.9 seconds. That will be the engine will, or the vehicle will then be held down until we build up to 7.7 .7 million pounds of thrust. At the T-minus three minute mark, take recorders on board the spacecraft were turned on. These recorders record both voice and data spacecraft now to full internal cooling. The cooling load has been shared with a ground cooling. T minus 90 seconds and counting. T minus 90 seconds and counting. At T minus 1 minute 15 seconds, the spacecraft batteries will be turned on for launch. These batteries will give an additional power source to the spacecraft as well as be acting as a backup for the fuel cells. The third stage liquid hydrogen tanks now uh, pressurized third stage tanks pressurized second stage tanks also pressurized t minus one minute t minus one minute and counting now moving into the final minute of the count we'll be standing by to for the switch over to internal power switch over taking place at this time going on internal power t minus 45 seconds and counting guidance aligned just announced by john young that will be the last action taken by the crew aboard the spacecraft T minus 35 and counting. Countdown continuing to go well. T minus 30. T minus 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. Guidance release. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engine's now building up to 7.7 .7 million pounds of thrust. We have a launch commit and we have a liftoff. The swing arms moving back. The Saturn V lifting off the tower. The Alpha pad building up thrust. We clear the tower. Thrust. Ah. Houston is now controlling. Oh, yeah, good thrust in all five. Roger. Engine roll program started. Good. Roger. 16 now maneuvering to his proper uh, flight path attitude. Mark 27 seconds. And the sound is just beginning to hit us. 36 seconds, roll program completed. Pitch profile still in progress. 40 seconds. Mark 50 seconds, cabin pressure relieving, adjusting now from sea level to a space environment, two nautical miles in altitude. Tap yeah, I, I hold one Bravo. Roger, Mark, one, one Bravo. Air is wet now, 16. Roger. Let's call up from Capcom, Gordon Fullerton says Apollo 16 now capable of water landing. Mark, one minute, 12 seconds, coming up on period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. They're already over the speed of sound. One minute, 22 seconds, six nautical miles in altitude, looking good. Mark, one minute, 30 seconds, eight nautical miles in altitude.
Mark, one minute, 41 seconds. Pass through, Max Q, still looking good. Through, Max Q, and everything looks good. The period of maximum 16 pressure on the spacecraft, Max Q. 16.5 nautical miles in altitude. Young Duke Mattingly moving out to the outer traces of the Earth's atmosphere. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Roger, we're five, one, Charlie. Mark, two minutes, three seconds. A status check and mission control by Flight Director Gene Kranz. A go, no go for staging. Coming up on center engine shutdown. Center engine shutdown. Board, you're go for staging. Ready for staging. Center engine shutdown on time. Two minutes, 28 seconds, 26 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 32 nautical miles downrange. Ten seconds of shutdown. Separation. Two minutes, 35 seconds. Should really see it blow. Two minutes, 40 seconds, coming up on staging. And there she goes. Staging. A crowd here cheering. After ignition on the S2. Roger. Two minutes, 53 seconds. A normal staging. Your young Duke Mattingly now riding on five good second stage engines. Go on all five on the S2. Three minutes, two seconds. The giant first stage falling away now. It's a uh, day's work completed. Apollo 16 Eight now 46 nautical miles now to 80 nautical miles downrange. Coming up on skirt step and uh, tower jettison. Roger. Tower jettison. The tower's gone. Roger, and uh, we confirm your skirt step. You're mode two now. Roger, mode two. Three minutes, 28 seconds. The launch Already escape tower is ejected on time. feet. It's uh, surveillance roll no longer required. 5,600 miles an hour and about 100 miles downrange away from us. CMC is go. Roger.